Well, there's a sight you don't see often when Mr. Beach goes beach detecting. The sun's out. There's no wind. It's nine degrees Celsius. It's about quarter to six on a Sunday morning. Lovely blue sky. And we're out. This is incredible. I haven't had weather like this for ages. Uh, mind you, it is early June. So I suppose we are due some good weather. Well, I'm back from Germany. Gonna be hitting the beaches again. Um, the tide is in this morning, so I've had to come down to Bush Bay. Um, so I can't go to the other location because it'll all be underwater. So we'll see what it's like here today. Hopefully, with it being June, a few people may have been on the beach, so we may have some modern drops as well. Um, the water out there is like a mill pond. As I say, it's nine degrees which is almost shorts and t-shirt weather for the UK we're almost in double figures we have had uh, some decent weather as well look at that no wind nothing that is perfect and even better this is where you should know your beaches we've got a line of sand running along here which means hopefully we should be in for a good day Big gold ship out on the horizon now. So right, let's get set up. Driftwood up the top here means the waves have been pounding up to the top, so that's good. So right, let me get set up and hopefully I'll be back with the target soon. Well, fairly shallow there, probably about three inches down. Uh, we just had our first coin out, which is here. No idea what this is. Ah, it's a modern 10 pence piece uh, from 1992, so that'll do. I'm really annoyed actually, I, I've brought myself um, a little macro attachment to clip on the front here. Because uh, I'm quite conscious that when I show you these coins they're not coming out very well. So I brought this macro lens and I put it out to bring this morning and I forgot it. So I'll definitely bring it next time and then... Uh, We'll check out whether it works or not, but yeah, nice. So that's a good start. Um, so we'll spiral out from here. As I say, I'm just heading along this very top bit because this is where it's important you know your beach. Because when this top's exposed, ideally I want this sh uh, shingle gone off the top of here, a bit further up, to where that sort of white line is running along here. Because that's where I always find most of the stuff. So when that's exposed, the beach is good, but as soon as I see sand along the top here this morning, I thought we might be able to whittle out some coins, so fingers crossed, this is a good omen. Right, I've got that in the bag. I've still got to sort out all my stuff from Germany. Um, I haven't got my little tin I normally put my finds in, but uh, anyway, let's crack on. Well, I'm still going, but I'm getting quite a bit of uh, metal as finds. However, I'll just add that, right? And you can see there's a hole there, rivet there, perfectly visible rivet there. And you can see how long that is in my hand. That is definitely a piece of a World War II plane. I say there's loads of them out there in the estuary. Uh, so, I'm not sure you can see that something floating out there in the um, in the water not sure you'll be able to see that in the sun let's just have a quick look not sure what that is uh, now I'm not sure you can see it it's sort of just out about there I'm not sure you can see it I don't know what that is right anyway let's carry on well I've just done another target and I've just kicked off like uh, the shingle here to make a flat base to see if it moves because if you just kick the top, so, uh, top shingle and things off to make a flat base and the target moves, nine times out of ten it's rubbish. But sitting here, right on the top, is a coin. Huh. Another 10p. Exactly the same as earlier. 
Let's have a look what date we got on this one. Uh, that I can't make out. So that's all right, two coins. Good start. Then we got all this beach to go all the way along there to the end. So I'll get this in the bag and we'll carry on. Right, well, we had the uh, Tempe there just in front of my foot, and literally next door. Here we've got a cracking signal. So same thing again, I'm just going to take the top soil off. Right, it's definitely in there. Ah look, see that's why you take the top soil off. Campbell. So that's how useful it can be. Now that if I'd have kicked that a bit harder that would have moved, but the TMP was shallow as well, so we've got to go after everything. So I'm wondering if you remember from a few videos well quite a few videos back, I came down here and I was finding loads of pound coins and two pound coins. I think there was an ice cream van, so this may be the location because I've had the Tempe there and the other Tempe was literally just over there by that bit of grass. So there's a pocket of ca coins here, so we'll fan out and see if there's any others. Right, I'm still running along top. I've just dug a nice hole there. Chucked all my spoil out here. I was getting a really weird choppy signal. And then here, you can see, we've got a really cruddy old coin. Hang on, let me put... Uh, if you want to clean your coins when they're like this, just get some sand and use it like sandpaper. Because it's... Uh, the abrasive properties work really well. They also turn your hands yellow. <laughs> uh, so not one of my better moves. But... Uh, let's have a now, that is a two pence piece. God, my hands have gone bright yellow. It looks like I'm smoking about 40 cigarettes a day. Um, need to get my little brush back in my pocket again. Now, I don't think we're going to get any detail off the back there. But that's definitely a uh, modern two pence piece. So, that's good. But as I say, really choppy signal. Let's just check the hole again. Make sure we haven't got any more. Well, we've got another target there. But no more in here. So, right, let me just uh, put this away and then we'll try that as a live dig. Right, let's go for it. Ugh. We're in. No, it's still there. Oh, I was just seeing it. Oh no, it's a bit of glass. Well, I'm still saying it's in there. Uh. Right, I think we flung it over here. Oh, now this is here. Ah, look, big old bit of World War II brass, now what we'll crack on. Well I don't know what's happening, there's a starfish there, starfish there, a bit of a starfish there, another one there, another one there, they're all over this beach. It's almost like there's been something that's killed them all off. Right, anyway, we'll crack on. Right, we've just had another really choppy signal in here. We've got another coin. Oh, there it is. Hey, it's the traditional cruddy penny. Anyone for tea? <laughs> Pretty uh, good find for Mr. Beach. Right, we'll crack on. Well, I've just had that. 
don't know what that is. I'd say that's possibly jewellery related, I don't know. Two holes in it. So anyway, we'll crack on. But it's absolutely gorgeous out here at the moment. This is the best day's detecting I've had in some time on the beach. Right. As you can see. Look at that. Great. Right, let's crack on. Right, we've got another coin. I haven't looked at it yet. Oh, that's a big old coin. Let's have a look. Ah, it's a 50 pence piece. From 1998. So if you can uh, see that in the sun there. So yeah, 1998. Lovely. Right, it just came down there, out the hole there. So we'll crack on a bit. I'm running along by this sea wall at the moment because I thought well, it might be a nice place for people to sit. So right, let's see what else we can whip out. Well, I just had that, uh, some sort of brass ring. Um, no idea what that is at all. I thought I could see the number six or nine on it, but I'm not too sure. Anyway, I'll carry on. I'm still going along the top here. I've moved down off the top bit there and I'm doing this stretch of sand here. Uh, see what other targets is. But for once, I've actually had to strip off. It is so hot. This is gorgeous weather for detecting. Right, we'll crack on. As we round up, we've got a piece of brass, a piece of plain, ring pull, that, five coins, the uh, brass ring, and the tea. So, not a bad haul for a couple of hours. So, that's it for me. I'm heading back to the car. Now, there's where I just did me round up. I'm just packing up and getting ready to go, and I'm getting a bit worried about all of you and me. I think we must be getting a bit old. Because, uh, what do you see? laying here right on the top 50p from 1997 right by that can so I think I'm just going to whiz the detector around here it's probably a lone drop but uh, yeah you can't complain at that right let's get going again am I having one of them days or what More fines for the pot, just laying down the back of the car. This is just getting ridiculous today. It's like the beach is pleased to see me back. Right, let's hit the road. Well, hope you enjoyed the uh, first outing since we've been back in the UK. We'll get out regularly as we used to. Start getting their old beach videos on the go. And we actually made some good finds today. So, lovely weather. What more can you say? Mr Beach is back.